Last week, the boys from RJK went out into the field to determine the best location to search for diamonds within the creek that cuts through their parody Kimberlite discovery. I'm one of three shareholders who volunteered to help with RJK social media and I asked if I could tag along, hoping to get footage of a discovery. The company is lucky as there are old timber and hunting roads throughout the land claims. But it wouldn't be the north if we didn't run into a few obstacles. I'll say this about the CEO Glenn. He isn't one to sit at his desk and cash paychecks. He loves the bush and came prepared for anything with his chainsaw. Now as a shareholder this might have been my favorite part of the day when the chainsaw became lodged in a fallen poplar tree. Peter, Jim and Rob all came together and lifted that trunk dropping the logs and releasing the saw. Now out of respect, I won't say their ages on camera, but in that moment, I remember thinking, the Nipissing Diamond is to these guys, with spinach is the Popeye. Now we were getting closer to the creek, but kept facing obstacle after obstacle. While filming, I wondered how people moved around here 116 years ago, when the Nipissing Diamond was found somewhere in this forest, before power tools and before Honda 4x4s. If anyone from Honda is watching this video, this might be the best ad for your pioneer on YouTube. And we could definitely use some product placement funding for future videos. So please sign us up while we're still cheap. We finally reached the creek and the guys went out scouting the location. I didn't film any new discoveries on camera that day, but it became clear to me. These Haleberry School of Mines grads are doing this for the hunt. It took RJK two years to acquire their land. For a total of 2.4 million spent plus 20 months of exploration, they found nine kimberlites, two already determined to be diamondiferous, all on surface, containing approximately 100 million tons combined so far, all while fighting COVID lockdowns. I think this is just the beginning of their story and I'm proud to help RJK tell it. If you're also inspired by what these guys are doing, or if you're a shareholder, please like and share this video and help RJK tell their story.